Hey everyone, in front of me we have PackTalk Edge, the all new premium communication system from Cardio. And in this tutorial, we'll show you everything you need to know about it. PackTalk Edge now takes the top position as the most advanced communication system in the world. And as a quick overview of its features, we'll cover some of the highlights. This model can handle a group size anywhere from two riders all the way up to 15 riders at a range of 1.6 kilometers or a mile uh, unit to unit. The PackTalk Edge comes with a new, sleek, modern design with no pop-up antenna and a magnetic air mount. Just snap it in and it attaches immediately. It also introduces a bunch of improvements. Uh, first is second generation dynamic mesh communication. Uh, the pairing is now crazy fast and it provides a crystal clear wideband intercom for voice. The Edge is equipped with a redesigned sound by JBL with three new sound profiles and also features an improved natural voice operation with a completely new voice reception technology and an improved noise canceling microphone. The Edge also comes packed with the latest technologies fast charging, over-the-air software updates, USB Type-C, and the most advanced Bluetooth 5.2 chip available on the market. This unit comes with a three-year warranty, and like all Cardo products, is 100% waterproof. So let's start with a quick unboxing. Uh, we'll then show you how to install it on a couple different types of helmets. Uh, well, then we'll go over the basic operations and pairings. And then finally, we'll check out some of the available accessories we make that complement these. Now, the PackTalk Edge is available as either a single kit or a duo, meaning a single would have everything you need to outfit one helmet, a dual kit would have everything you need to outfit two helmets. Uh, in front of me, I have both, so let's crack one open and see what's inside. Inside the box, you'll find a blister containing either one or two units. Removing the blister, you'll find the documentation, and beneath the documentation, an accessory box, which I'll get to in a second. Now, the documentation includes a flyer with how to update the unit. You'll want to start with that a pocket guide, which is picture oriented and very easy to use uh, and is available in multiple languages. An installation guide, which is also picture oriented with a QR code for the Cardo Connect app and a QR code for the installation video. A safety and warranty document, a radius card and a sticker. Now back to this accessory box. Opening this will expose the cradle for the unit, two mounting options, including a glue plate, and a clamp style, a set of two 40 millimeter JBL speakers, two microphones, one of which is the hybrid boom mic for open face and modular helmets, and the other being a wired microphone option for closed face helmets, two speaker booster pads, which can be really helpful when uh, trying to find the ideal speaker position inside the helmet, a USB cable, two round Velcros for the speakers, two rectangular Velcros for mounting of the microphone, and two prep pads. Let's now see how to install this into your helmet. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll show you on a full face helmet and also a three quarter helmet, being mindful that if you have a modular helmet, you'll follow the exact same steps as this one. If you plan to put this on a half shell helmet, there's likely one other piece you'll need, which I'll talk about in the accessory section uh, of this video. If you find yourself needing any more information on installation, you can always refer to the installation guide that came in your box or the installation specific video by scanning the QR code in that guide. Let's start. All right, if your helmet allows for it, start by completely removing both cheek pads. Just set them to the side and we'll be back for those. Now I can see on this helmet, when I pull out the cheek pads, there's a little kind of indented suggested area for a speaker. So that's always a good place to start. You're going to take one of your round Velcros, stick that on each side over the years. And remember, that's a starting spot. If that turns out to not be the right place, what we'll do is we'll take this booster pad, put that there. Now I have a nice flush area inside the helmet where I can put the speaker anywhere I need to. That area right there, it's suggested. If that's where your ear is, great. If it's not, feel free to move that speaker wherever the ear is. It's one of the most important things. Okay, now starting on the left side, I'm gonna place the first speaker. And you can tell it's the left side speaker because it's the one with the shorter cable. Uh, the right side has the much longer cable attached to it. Then if your helmet allows for it, go ahead and pull the headliner back. Take the longer cable of the right speaker 
and tuck it up around top of the helmet and stick the other speaker in over the right ear. And we'll get that buttoned up. Now keep in mind, if your helmet doesn't allow you to pull the headliner back like that, you can always kind of tuck that wire around the back side, make it nice and clean until you reach it around the other side here. So both speakers are in, the wires are tucked away. We don't have a bunch of wires everywhere. Now we move to the microphone on the left side of the helmet. Now a helmet like this, a three quarter or a modular, uh, anything of this nature, we're going to use the hybrid boom microphone, not the wired microphone, because on a wired, obviously there's nowhere to stick it. So what I typically do is grab the microphone before doing any Velcro and just get an idea of where I'm going to put that Velcro. You want to leave yourself enough boom length to reach around in front of the mouth and have a couple nice places to put the Velcro. That looks like that'll be our spot. So next grab the rectangular Velcro pieces. Lay those in the areas that you already determined and place the microphone. Making sure to always use this secondary clip. One last thing to mention about the boom microphone at the very front of it, you'll notice kind of a yellow triangle. Uh, it's super important that that is facing the direction of your mouth. That's the input for the microphone. So always make sure uh, when you're installing it and when you're using it, that the little triangle is facing the direction of your mouth. Moving to the full face for a moment, this is the scenario in which you would use the wired microphone if you'd like to. So, and by the way, you would only be using one of the rectangular Velcros in this scenario, but you just take the general area of where you think your mouth is, adhere the Velcro, and place the button mic there. Now, as we talked about with the speakers a moment ago, uh, location is everything. Same with the mic. So you're putting it there for the moment. You're going to put the helmet on later. Uh, if it feels like the microphone is up by your nose or down by your chin, simply move it. Next, it's time to, again, look at the left side and put the cradle on. When you're putting the cradle onto the helmet, you have two options for mounting it. One is an adhesive plate. The other is this clamp style that pinches the shell of the helmet. Now, the way to, de to determine which one you're gonna use is the thickness of this left side. On this helmet, it's pretty thick, it's not very movable, and just by looking at it, I'm gonna go with the adhesive, because if you're dealing with a helmet rim that has a tolerance that's greater than the width of this clamp at its widest point, uh, you, you wanna rule the clamp out. So, for this helmet, we are gonna do the adhesive, and anytime you do the adhesive, you wanna make sure you're using that alcohol pad and just cleaning up the helmet. If, whether it's a used helmet, a new helmet, doesn't matter, you want this thing to stick good. Once that area on the left side is nice and dry, just go ahead and take the red pieces off of the adhesive. And obviously you wanna do this before you take the adhesive off and make it permanent, but take the base, make sure it's nice and clean, find a spot on the side of your helmet where you have the best contact points and then go ahead and place it down. Back to our full face for a moment. I look at the left side of this and that is, that's uh, thin enough and even better, this little rubber piece is pretty flexible. So on this one, we are gonna use the clamp style. So we take the mount, sorry, the clamp and the cradle itself, put those two pieces together. Make sure you get the click. And then on the left side, you know, dead center, Go ahead and push the clamp into position. And back to the three quarter, once your adhesive plate is dry, you can go ahead and click the base into position. At this point, we're pretty much there. Now it's just an issue of connecting the speakers to the base. And same with the microphone. and cable management. Obviously you wanna do your best to hide as much of this wire as possible. There's always room and place within the helmet to get this nice and tucked away and clean. And at that point you put all the cheek pads and headliner back in, get the cables nice and tucked away and should come out just like that, nice and clean. And now for the best part, you're ready for your Pack Talk Edge to meet your helmet. Now before you put it on, take note of this little tensioner up front. 
pressing that down and sliding the unit forward is how you release pack talk edge i'll show you in a second so to put it on uh, it doesn't get any easier just clamp it on uh, and then if you want to release it that little tensioner just push it down and slide the unit forward that's how you get it off and now that we've finished installing the unit, let's learn how to use it. The PackTalk Edge has three activation buttons controlling mobile, media, and intercom. There's a little roller wheel in the back, which is also clickable. There's an LED light that sits right in front of that. And in the back is your charging port. Given the inclusion of natural voice operation, there's many things you can do without having to touch anything. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. So let's start. To turn the unit on, simply press and hold the media and mobile buttons together for about two seconds. And to turn the unit off, it's the exact same buttons. You'll notice now that it reads out the battery status or your battery level uh, every time you go to turn it off. Battery status, full. And that's that. Now let's get into pairing. Uh, the PackTalk Edge can pair up with two different mobile devices. Now this could be your phone and a GPS. This could be a phone and another phone. Uh, this could be a pairing to your bike. But there are multiple different pairing modes that you can put the PackTalk Edge into depending on the equipment that you intend to pair it with. So first, we'll pair it to a mobile phone. Uh, first off, make sure your unit is powered on like this one is. Then simply press and hold the mobile button for about five seconds. Phone pairing. You'll hear phone pairing in the headset. You'll see the LEDs go red and blue like they are here. Then simply go to your phone's Bluetooth menu. And when you see PackTalk Edge show up, go ahead and select it down here at the bottom. Phone connected. You'll hear phone connected in the headset, and of course the LED will go purple. Your phone will show that it's connected successfully. Now, if you wanted to pair a second mobile phone, you would do the exact same thing. Press and hold. Phone pairing. And when you hear phone pairing, the roller wheel roll it forward. Second phone pairing. Until you hear second phone pairing, then you would do the exact same thing uh, with your second phone's Bluetooth menu. Find PackTalk Edge, select it, and pair it successfully. Now, if you're looking to pair to a standalone GPS, we're talking about something like a Garmin or a TomTom -Tom or something of the likes, uh, you can do that as well. Press and hold the mobile button for five seconds. Phone pairing. Once you hear phone pairing, go ahead and tap that phone button one more time. GPS pairing. You'll see the LED indicator change and hear GPS pairing. Now, once your headset is in this state, you can now go to your GPS within its menu Find something along the lines of Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings, pairing to a headset, uh, and go ahead and select it once you see PackTalk Edge populate on the GPS screen. And lastly, if you plan to pair this to the bike, say you have a TFT or an onboard Bluetooth connection to the bike itself, uh, you can do that as well. This is how you will do it. Press and hold the mobile button for five seconds. Phone pairing. And then the roller wheel, roll it backwards just a bit. Bike pairing. You'll hear bike pairing in the headset. You'll see the LEDs change again. And this is the mode you'd want to put the headset in before going to the bikes menu to find and select Pack Talk Edge as the headset you'd like to pair to. One last thing when it comes to pairing up with your devices, say you get into a certain pairing mode. Phone pairing. Phone pairing. Second phone pairing. And you accidentally find yourself in second phone pairing, you can always cancel the pairing uh, by pressing and holding that same mobile button for two seconds. Pairing failed. It'll say pairing failed. Now you're basically back to home base and you can try again. Now, before going any further, you always want to make sure your unit is running the latest software update. Uh, doing so just keeps it clean of any bugs, but more importantly, make sure that you have access to the latest features and functionalities. Now with PackTalk Edge, there's no longer a need to, you know, tether the unit to a computer for the update. Although you can still do that if you would like. Uh, but with this unit, it's all done over the air and we do so using the Cardo Connect app. I'll show you that now. Start by downloading and opening the Cardo Connect app and just follow the on-screen instructions. You'll be asked to register the device. You can then name your unit, select the language, and then you'll be prompted for a software update if one is available for you at that time. Uh, let's do it. And that's it. Once the device reaches 100%, you'll see up top, done, the software has been updated, and it says you have successfully updated to version 2.0. The headset, uh, the PackTalk Edge is back on in standby, and you are finished. 
Now let's see some of the main functionalities. Uh, because Packtalk Edge has natural voice operation, there's many things you can do with the buttons, but there's also many things you can do with your voice. Uh, throughout this tutorial, I'll show you how to do it with the buttons first, then I'll do the exact same thing using the voice. So volume, this little roller wheel you have back here, as you roll it forward towards the front of the unit, that's going to increase the volume of whatever's happening at that time. Uh, and as you roll it backwards, that'll decrease the volume. And what I mean by that is if you're, say, talking to somebody via intercom and you adjust the volume, it's going to adjust the intercom volume. Uh, if you're on a phone call and you adjust the volume, it's going to adjust the volume of the phone call. When you're done with the phone call, it'll go back to the intercom volume that you left at. So it has different volumes for uh, the different things that it's doing. If you're going to do the same thing with your voice, you would say, hey, Cardo, volume up. Hey, Cardo, volume up. That change in tone uh, indicates max volume. Hey, Cardo, volume down. Hey, Cardo, volume down. Now, additionally, there's a way to mute your microphone. This feature is really beneficial when you are, say, in a DMC group. Uh, maybe you have more than two of you, three, four, five, and you just want to be able to kill your microphone. Uh, you can do that simply by pressing and hold, or sorry, tapping the front and top button together. That muted the mic, and then to unmute the mic, do the exact same thing. And with your voice, you would say, Hey, Cardo, mute microphone. Mute microphone. Hey, Cardo, unmute microphone. Unmute microphone. Again, that's a really beneficial feature uh, when it comes to DMC uh, as your group size begins to grow. Now, when it comes to your phone's voice assistant, that's also a very useful tool or resource. Uh, and you've always been able to pull up Siri or Google by just tapping a button on the unit itself. But because Packtalk Edge has natural voice operation, you can now just say that command right into the microphone. If it's a Google phone or an Android phone, sorry, you could just say, OK, Google. And because this is an iPhone, I will just simply say, hey, Siri, what temperature is it outside? It's 63 degrees right now. That's perfect. Um, now, of course, I can do it with the button still. One tap of the mobile phone would pull it up. One tap would then make it go away. The Packtalk Edge also comes with full phone support. If you were to get an incoming phone call, your phone will ring. It'll be ringing in the helmet. If you didn't want to answer it, just roll the volume wheel down or back, and that'll ignore the call. Or you can always use the word ignore. Now, you'll notice that my actual phone is still ringing, but inside the helmet, the ringtone would have gone away and I would be back to intercom or whatever I was doing previously. If, however, you want to answer the call, you can simply tap the mobile button one time, that'll do it, or you can use the voice command, answer. To get off the call, simply tap the mobile button one time, that'll end the call. Of course, you can always use the voice command, hey, Cardo, end call to end a phone call as well. Uh, to activate the redial functionality, which obviously redials the last number that you uh, called, you can press and hold the mobile button for two seconds. That'll activate the redial, or you can use the voice command. Hey, Cardo, redial number. Redial number. And lastly, there's a speed dial functionality. To set that up, we go to the Cardo app. Once you have the Cardo Connect app open, just select the phone. And at the very top, you'll see a free slot to set a speed dial number. Hit set. Search for the number that you're looking to set for your speed dial. Save it, and then to activate speed dial, you either tap the mobile button two times, that'll make the phone call, or you can use the voice command. Now to control music from something like your phone, uh, you can of course use the buttons or use the voice commands as well. I'll show you both. Um, right in front of me, I have the Cardo Connect app open. Let me go to the music section so you can see what's going on while I do it. So to start music, it's just a single tap of the front media button. That'll start the music. If you'd like to skip forward to another song, it's one additional press of that. Skipping forward again. And if you wanted to skip back, it's two presses of that button. And then to stop the music, the roller wheel, you just give it a click. That 
now stops the music. Say we run the same thing with the voice commands. Hey, Cardo, music on. Music on. Hey, Cardo, next track. All of the DJs hey, Cardo, previous track. Hey, Cardo, music off. Music off. Now there's also a music sharing feature in which you can take the music that you're receiving in your helmet and share it with another Cardo headset that is compatible with that capability. To set that up, we've got to go over to the Cardo app. Open up the intercom tab and switch your headset over to Bluetooth intercom mode and make sure the person you want to share your music with is paired to you on your A channel in Bluetooth intercom mode. Once you confirm that, go ahead and switch back over to DMC. You'll then notice by going back to the music section that the little music share icon uh, is illuminated. That's a selectable option to start sharing the music, or you can do a two second hold on the intercom button to share the music, or you can simply use the voice command, hey Cardo, share music. Moving on now to the built-in FM radio. Remember when we wanted to start music from the phone, it was one tap of the media button. To turn on the FM radio uh, manually, it's two taps of the media button. 88.1 That'll turn on the built-in FM radio. Uh, if you'd like to activate the scanning functionality, do three clicks of that media button and that'll start the scan forward. 90.7 If you'd like to stop the scan, one press of that button and the scan will stop and stay on the station that you landed on. And then turning the FM radio off is identical to turning off music from your phone. It's just one click of the roller wheel. Now you have six loadable presets in this as well. Uh, if you'd like to edit those or see what they are, just go to the FM tab. There's your six presets. Uh, if you're on a station that's not in your presets, simply allocate it to one of them. And now preset one is set for 103.5. If I'd like to long hold it, I can then edit any of these as I want and save them. There's also the option up here in the top right to edit presets, auto tune all six presets or reset presets. Now, once you have the radio on, 103.5. The way to skip to a next preset is a single tap of the media button. 90.7. So you can't believe any Skip again forward. Point five. If you wanted to go to a previous preset, it's two taps of that same front button. 90.7. And then of course, clicking the wheel to turn it off. Now to demonstrate all of that by just using the voice commands, it would be, hey Cardo, radio on. Radio on. 90.7. Hey Cardo, next station. 91.5. Hey Cardo, previous station. 90.7. Hey Cardo, radio DNA, off. Radio off. Now, one last thing. You can easily switch between the built-in FM radio and the music on your phone by doing a two-second hold on the front button. I'll demonstrate that for you now. Hey Cardo, radio on. Radio on. 90.7. Seven. Now we see that the FM radio is on. Say I wanted to go to the music on my phone. I'll do a two second hone, hold on the front button. And we can verify that. If I go to the music section, we see that that's now playing. If I wanted to go back to the FM radio, it's the identical process. 90.7. Seven. And now we're back to the FM radio. Now let's see how to use DMC for intercom. Uh, remember, the PackTalk Edge has two different options for intercom. One is DMC intercom mode, which is the mesh. The other is uh, what I call plan B, Bluetooth intercom mode, which is your more traditional Bluetooth pairing. Uh, I'll show you both, but if you have the option, always choose to set up your group in the DMC intercom mode. It's far superior and really it's part of the magic of this unit. Now with DMC Gen 2, the pairing is easy and it is fast. I will show you how to first do it using just the buttons. I'll then show you how to do it using the Cardo Connect app. Using the buttons, very easy. Just press and hold the intercom button for a couple seconds till you start seeing the lights change. Now the one that just went purple has already joined the group. These two are already grouped. They're ready for comms. Say you want your group was four riders, say it was 12 riders, doesn't matter the size, the process is the same. I'm gonna press and hold these intercom buttons 
we'll see already purple is in the group purple it's in the group this group of four is connected and ready for intercom now to do the exact same thing using the cardo connect app simply open the app itself tap intercom and at the very bottom you'll see start grouping let's go ahead and select that you'll then be asked to name the group and by default it is named group one keep in mind when you name a group you're naming the group for you to identify this person that's joining this same group might name it something totally different doesn't matter you're naming it for you to see so let's go to keep the default go to continue this is now in that mode that we just saw a minute ago if i had a phone paired to this one i would do the exact same thing i would just hit start grouping the units would figure it out it would be done within seconds i don't have that app open so i'll use the button method on this one you can see immediately that it joined the group there's one i'll hit finish there's our group, these two are connected for intercom. And lastly, to give you an idea of what you can expect to hear inside the helmet, let's do it one more time. So, start the group. Grouping initiated. These two are joining. Searching for group. These would have automatically just heard grouping success. Third one. Searching for group. It would have heard grouping success. We hit Searching finish. for group. Grouping succeeded. Three, group members connected. Perfect. When it comes to mute functionality of the Pack Talk Edge, there's actually three different options. The first one is to mute and unmute the group. I'll show you the quick access screen for more detail on this. To mute the group, press and hold the roller wheel for two seconds. When you're muted, you no longer hear the intercom conversation of these three or the size of your group, and they no longer hear you. So it's a total mute of the intercom. To unmute it, same thing, two seconds. and now you're instantly back. While you're muted, it has no effect on the other three. And of course, as you just saw a minute ago, you can do it using the Cardo Connect app as well. The second option is called mute microphone. You can do that using the buttons or the built-in voice command. To do it with the buttons, you press the media and intercom buttons simultaneously. The microphone is now muted, doing the same thing. The microphone is unmuted. While you are using that option, when you do the microphone mute, that means you can still hear the conversation that's going on around you in your group, but they can no longer hear you. So if you're wanting to sing or if your bike is making a lot of noise, whatever the reason is, you can mute your mic without being totally removed from your intercom group. To demonstrate the voice command for this, hey Cardo, mute microphone. Mute microphone. Hey Cardo, unmute microphone. Unmute microphone. And the third is called mute audio. When you activate this, it'll take anything that's coming through your speakers. So music, intercom, anything, and lower it to the absolute lowest volume level. It'll also kill your microphone. This is a handy feature when say, going in to use the restroom or pay for some gas. To activate that, it's a voice command. Hey Cardo, mute audio. Mute audio. The system is now dead. Hey Cardo, unmute audio. Unmute audio. And everything's back. The share call feature is used to take an inbound phone call that you might get and share that with the other rider or riders in your group. To do that, say I were to get a phone call right now, I would take that phone call and then two second hold on the intercom button to share that phone call. That would now activate it. This person would also now hear the phone call that I'm on. That would close it out. Now, where that also becomes handy is say you have somebody in your group using another comm device that's not a Cardo. It would obviously pair to their own cell phone. If that person were to phone you, you could answer that phone call, spread that phone call throughout your group, and now that other rider using a different brand is now talking with the entire group, and the entire group now hears that person. Going back to our larger group of four here, anytime you have three or more in your DMC group, the private chat feature becomes a little bit more of an important, nice feature to be aware of. Basically, private chat enables you to have a one-on-one -on -one private conversation with any member of your DMC group. To set that up, you'll open up the Cardo Connect app. By default, you'll see Pack Talk Edge as the name of every unit on the group. I would encourage you to have your group rename all their devices via this menu. You can name this whatever you would like, but assuming that everybody had named their unit, when you go to your intercom menu, you would then see those individually named units making private chat much more easy to identify. The one with the lock symbol is the one that this unit is set to talk to via private chat. Now to activate private chat, it's two clicks 
of the intercom button. Private chat on. Both parties would hear private chat on. They know that they're now in a basically secure private conversation amongst each other to get out of it. Two clicks. Private chat off. Private chat is now off and the entire group is now connected amongst each other. Now, if you're in the quick access menu of the Cardo Connect app, you can also activate private chat via this button here. You'll also see the name of the unit that you are set to private chat with. Again, for this demonstration, it's named PacTalk Edge, but it could say Rebecca, it could say Demo One, it could say whatever that private chat person identified their unit as. Private chat on. Private chat on. It's on there. I could cancel it here. Private chat off. Private chat off. And lastly, if you wanted to change your private chat person, simply select their name, which will by default automatically activate private chat. Private chat on. And then when you're ready to cancel it, cancel by any of the means that we already talked about. Private chat off. That's now your new default for the private chat if you were to activate it using the headset itself. Now, if you have two or more headsets in a DMC group and you would like to add, say, a passenger that's using a Bluetooth only headset, uh, in this case, a Cardo Freecom 4X. It's only capable of Bluetooth. It does not have mesh or DMC. This is how you would do that. Go to the intercom menu, and in your group right there below it, you'll see add riders. Pair more riders. That would be more DMC riders or pair a new passenger. Let's go ahead and select that. Rider A pairing. We'll turn on the other Bluetooth headset, and if it's a Cardo, put it into Rider A pairing. When the red lights go solid, we'll know that they successfully paired and we'll be able to bring them into our DMC conversation. Rider A, ready. Perfect. Now, by default, these two just talk to each other by the nature of DMC. To bring this rider into the conversation, it's three clicks of the intercom button. All three of these are now talking. To bring this person out of the conversation, three clicks. It's now just down to these two. As you saw a, mo a minute ago on the app, you can also activate it by hitting the bridge button here or from the quick access screen. All three are talking. Just these two are talking. The PacTalk Edge is 100% compatible with all Cardo Bluetooth only headsets. It's also fully compatible with the prior generation of DMC. When it's just PacTalk Edge and an intercom that's Bluetooth only, so one that does not have DMC, that's when you'll have to switch your edge over to Bluetooth intercom mode. Go to the intercom tab, hit Bluetooth up Bluetooth here. Bluetooth intercom mode. Now the PacTalk Edge is acting like a Bluetooth headset. In this capacity, you have an A channel and a B channel uh, for pairing on intercom. To add your A channel, simply hit pair. Rider A pairing. I'll do it manually on the Cardo Freecom 4X. Once we get solid red lights, we'll know that they're paired up. Rider A, ready. Those two are now paired for intercom. Now to activate the intercom session, you have a couple different options. First off, you could just tap the intercom button one time to open the A channel intercom. Intercom is now open between those two. A single tap again closes it. You can also just tap the Rider A button if you're using the Cardo Connect app. And finally, you can use the voice command, hey Cardo, call intercom. Call intercom. And to close that intercom, hey Cardo, end intercom. And the intercom's closed. Now, if you wanted to pair to a second Bluetooth only headset, you'll have to do so using your Rider B pairing as Rider A is taken with this intercom system here. Remember, PacTalk Edge can connect with any Bluetooth communication system of any brand, and there's nothing particular or special you have to do on the Cardo side. Simply hit pair. Rider B pairing and the unit will determine if it's a Cardo unit or not. If it is a non-Cardo that you're pairing with, simply ask that person to go to mobile phone pairing mode. Rider B ready. Rider B is ready. Once the app returns, we can see that B is paired. It's actually active right now. Intercom is now closed. Now to activate your intercom with A, it's a single tap of the intercom button. If you wanted to activate an intercom channel with B, it's a double tap of the intercom button. Or remember, you can always select router A or B via the app. And of course, to make sure you're getting the most out of your PacTalk Edge, uh, make sure to reference the pocket guide. Moving now to the accessories that are available for PacTalk Edge. And first up, the second helmet kit with sound by JBL. Now, this kit comes included with literally everything needed to outfit an additional helmet that you might have. We're talking the clamp, the speakers, the Velcro, 
the adhesive plate, both microphone options, literally everything to outfit another helmet and then at that point just transfer your unit from one helmet to the other. For example, you have a Pack Talk Edge, you've already taken it home, installed it in your main helmet, everything's good, but you decide, you know, I'd like to use that in my other helmet. Instead of taking everything out of this helmet, installing it in this helmet, simply go out, buy the second helmet kit, uh, install it in your other helmets, and now you're just transferring the module to whatever helmet you'd like to use that day. Moving on, the half helmet kit. Now, this mount is unique in that the hard boom is directly attached to the cradle itself. When installing on a half helmet, there's really no place to mount the microphone on the helmet itself. This kit gets rid of that uh, and gives you enough length to get down to your mouth. And last, the 45 millimeter Sound by JBL audio set. Now this is a plug and play install that you would use to replace the 40 millimeter speakers that come with Pack Talk Edge if you're truly looking for that absolute top audio experience. And that's it. For more information, you can always visit the Pack Talk Edge pages on our website. See you next time.